Hello, my name is Matthias Fritsch and I'm going to talk a bit about my view work, uh, Soil Farmers, which I produced in 2018. Back in this summer I was invited to an artist residency in an area that is called Prignitz, uh, which is located in Brandenburg, like maybe 100 kilometers west, northwest of Berlin. And 2018 has been an extremely hot and dry summer, so I could observe a lot of farmers that were doing agriculture around uh, this village where I was for my residency. And um, what I noticed is that with their huge machines they were blowing up a lot of soil. The soil that actually was needed for them to grow the fruit and the vegetables that uh, we as humans uh, also need uh, to survive, like to not be hungry to fill up our supermarkets. But uh, by their way of farming, they were just spoiling a lot of the topsoil that would enable us a long uh, and uh, secure future. So since this kind of um, very industrial agriculture is practiced in many parts of the planet, I would actually see this kind of practice as some sort of de-terraforming practice because we create conditions that are less and less uh, friendly for life and that uh, endanger also the, the future for humankind on this planet. And in my eyes a logical consequence uh, to go against this kind of de-terraforming process is like a proactive re-terraforming practice where we again build up soil uh, and create more fertility in the top level of this planet where we can store more nutrition and more water. And so I focused in my film on those guys that are actually producing the soil, the soil that we live on. And what you see is a lot of different organisms which all belong to a very big um, circular system where the waste that is produced by, let's say, for instance, plants or uh, larger animals is broken down and decomposed in order to end up as rich and fertile humus in the top level of this planet. And um, I think actually that we should include this production of soil into our everyday practice and we should try to give carbon back to the soil. And um, to do that, we actually have to understand these organisms, how they work, what kind of conditions they need. So we can adapt our technology if we need to use so much technology also in the future uh, in a way that we don't harm them and we are supporting them. So it's a win-win situation for everybody.